internet is just awesome. But not everyone is lucky enough to have access to it. With several parts of the world lacking internet connectivity due to geological, economical or technological reasons. So what's the solution to it? It is simple. But before I let you on to the secret, make sure you subscribe to our channel because there is more to come. So the solution I was talking about is to launch over 100,000 satellites into space. This is what Elon Musk and some other big brain billionaires say. Launch a ton of satellites and voila, you have the super fast internet. And it actually does work that way. This idea was first proposed by one of the greatest entrepreneurs of the century, Elon Musk, the man behind SpaceX. And he named his idea Starlink. Starlink is a proposed mega constellation of satellites constituting around 42,000 satellites. SpaceX has already launched over 600 satellites and by the end of 2020, it plans on positioning around 12,000 satellites in lower Earth orbits, launching as frequent as every two weeks, the remainder of 30,000 satellites being launched over the decade. Using this mega constellation, SpaceX aims to provide low latency, high speed internet connectivity to even the remotest parts of the globe. Let's see if they can provide it in the corner of my bed, where even 4G downgrades to edge. But why do we require 42,000 satellites for best connectivity? Well, the internet we use today is provided using intercontinental underwater cables and ground terminals that are susceptible to natural calamities and conditions and require high investments. Thus, remote areas with almost no users aren't a very attractive market for the investors. With Starlink in the Earth's orbit and its 42,000 satellites, this issue could be resolved. Starlink constellation consists of satellites that are always on the move and their combined range covers the entire globe thus providing the best of connectivity. Plus, space doesn't have stormy nights. I'm pretty sure most of you are already hyped up and gushy with joy because you won't have to wait for that video to load in 4K quality. But have we humans ever achieved a milestone without having a negative impact on the world? Ah, uh, nope. SpaceX alone plans to launch around 42,000 satellites and its competitors are one step ahead. OneWeb, a SpaceX competitor, is planning to launch around 48,000 satellites for a similar venture. And that is just the beginning. Amazon plans to launch a constellation of over 3,000 satellites. And now that Americans are entering the space market, China has to compete. One of China's biggest giants, Geely, has also announced the launch of such a satellite constellation in competition to Starlink. Samsung also proposes to launch around 3,500 satellites. All in all, the leading tech giants around the globe plan on sending over 100,000 satellites to orbit our planet day and night. You might seem no harm in this, but let me tell you ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot more to understand. Even though these ventures promise almost perfect connectivity and data services, something I personally want, such projects can jeopardize the space for us. How, you wonder? The biggest threat being space debris. As of April 1, 2020, there were a total of 2,666 satellites orbiting the Earth. But that is not it. It is estimated that the total number of space debris objects in the Earth's orbit constitute around 29,000 for sizes larger than 10 cm, 670,000 for sizes larger than 1 cm, and more than 170 million for sizes larger than 1 mm. And according to ESA, the European Space Agency, a collision with a 10 cm object will lead to a catastrophic destruction of the present-day satellites. A 1 cm object would most likely disable a spacecraft and penetrate the shields of the International Space Station, and a 1 mm object could destroy the subsystems on board a spacecraft. Now imagine the amount of precision and effort it would require for 100,000 satellites to maneuver away from such debris in Earth's orbit. In addition to that, the risk of collision among satellites cannot be ruled out. In such a case, a chain reaction would be triggered where debris from one collision would initiate another one and so on. Scientists have a name for such situations and it is called Kessler Syndrome. If I was there, I would have named it the apocalyptic debris, but never mind. At the end, this would lead to near and lower Earth orbits being submerged in enormous amounts of debris and would make space travel lethal and astronomical discoveries impossible. And if you're a movie fan, you must know that Tom Cruise might have to postpone the shooting of the first ever movie to be filmed in space if such a scenario occurs. In addition to that, NASA would not be able to track asteroids and meteorites that may end up striking the Earth. And that is not the end. There is one more problem. The second problem is specifically related to the astronomical community on the globe. Astronomers love to explore the space and discover new planets, asteroids and a ton of more stuff and all this is possible only by the grace of light. 
but with over 100,000 satellites in the Earth orbit, the future of this community seems to be more of a problem solving than that of discovering. The satellites that SpaceX had launched initially for their beta projects were made out of material that was highly reflective. As a result, when the astronomical observatories made the observations, the images got streaked with lengths of bright light, spoiling the image altogether. This was because of the highly reflective Starlink satellites orbiting at greater speeds. Eventually, the astronomical community got fed up and approached Elon Musk with the problem. Looking into it, SpaceX decided to coat their satellites with dark pigments to make them less reflective and even promised to alter the maneuvers of satellites in the future in special scenarios. Apart from that, researchers have started to work on softwares that could help fix the broken observations using the power of algorithms. Algorithms that could automatically remove the white streaks from images and help astronomers explore. There is nothing much we can do right now about the possibility of a catastrophic satellite apocalypse, but the only solution to it is perfecting the maneuver systems and hoping that these big techies have a plan to control such a situation if it arises. And if you thought that this video was about a sci-fi concept, you were wrong. It is reality in the making and probably by the end of this decade, you would be living it. So hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to get a bite into the past, present and the future.